Hi everyone and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so very much. I hope you enjoy this DIY. So for today's project, I thought I would show you a very simple, easy way to do different fonts, um, lettering, uh, signs or labels. This is something that I showed in my last Trash to Treasure video and everybody really, really seemed to like it. So I thought I would do a video all its own on showing how to do this technique. This is a very simple way of doing it if you don't have one of those um, lettering machines like the Cricut or Crycut, I'm not sure how to say it. I've heard it both ways. So if you'd like to see how I did this, please keep watching. Also, real quick, for anybody who is interested in ordering these candles that I showed um, in my last bathroom refresh video, these are their fall scents that are just now coming out and they are amazing. I will have the link in my description box along with a coupon code this time, which I know a few of you were asking about last time. I will tell you a little bit more about those at the end. So let's get started on our DIY. So first you're going to print out whatever words that you want or even pictures. Um, I know like the really simple pictures will work. I don't know about super detailed or colored ones, but for this I just used really simple fonts and words. You're going to print those out on a laser jet printer. The inkjet works, but not nowhere near as good as the laser jet. It kind of, it's really, really light and faint and it pulls up um, some of the ink. But the laser jet works really, really well. So you're going to print it out, cut it out, and then you're going to take some packing tape, lay it over the top of the word and make sure you get out all the bubbles, press really firm. This takes a couple tries because sometimes I would get things stuck in there or it'd be crooked. And then you just take the word with the packing tape over it and put it in a bowl of water. I used warm water this time. Last time I used just regular tap water and it, was, it worked perfect. Like I said, you just press down firmly and then let it soak for about, I don't know, three minutes maybe. Longer if you want, doesn't matter, it won't hurt it. But I am taking a frame and I am putting the words actually on the glass because I want to be able to change out the background. I'll show you that shortly. So after the tape has soaked for about, you know, a few minutes, you're going to rub off the paper and make sure you get all the little pieces, which I missed a couple on this. Works better if your hands are wet and you can even dunk the tape back in the water to get all the little pieces off. See, this is the inkjet I was talking about. You can still see the word but it's pretty faint. Then you're going to flip it over and let it dry. Um, you want the sticky side face up. Let it dry for a few minutes and you'll know that it's dry because it becomes clear again. It kind of loses the fogginess to it. Now for this, I like I told you, I just decided to do it on a frame on top of the glass because I wanted the, um, the really pretty bubbly background. And I also used a container that I had and just put the word marshmallows on there. I thought that would be cute on a hot cocoa bar or coffee bar even. And this worked awesome. I thought it turned out really cute. And if you get all the um, little paper pieces out, it will look perfect. You will, you'll hardly be able to see the tape. Here I'm just filling another container with 
Um, you can do hot cocoa, but I was doing carob there because I'm allergic to chocolate. So that's a nice substitute. Just a little tip. So I think this turned out really cute and you can change out the background if you put the sticker on the glass. See, this I did for like a winter theme. You could do fall, you could change it out and just leave it out all year if you wanted and just change the background. For this I'm using this metal container that I got from Walmart. I got it on clearance for like $2.50. And I did the words farm fresh pumpkins on this because we all love pumpkins and I'm going to paint the bottoms white there but I think that turned out super cute as well you can't tell that there's any tape on there and this might even be cute if you print it out like a um, outline of a pumpkin or something and suck it on there but I was just going for simple. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like this technique. I just thought I wanted to show you guys something if you guys didn't have those machines because I know I don't and I've been trying for so long to try and figure out how to make these signs and stuff or the labels without them. And I think this is a, a perfect substitute for one of those machines. Also, I will be co-hosting a challenge with my friend Natalie over on Design to the Nines. She has this challenge called Girls Can Use Power Tools. This is an open invite, so anybody who wants to join in, please do. All you have to do is mention Natalie and her channel, Design to the Nines, and my name, Casey, and my channel, Coffee with My Sunshine. Also, list it in the description box and attach the playlist. I will have more information in my community tab this week. And here are those candles I was talking about. This one is in the Fall Harvest scent. It's actually my husband's favorite so far. I also got the Pumpkin Spice and they sent me the Apple Pickin' as well. And they all are amazing. So thank you so much for sending me these candles. I will have the coupon code listed in the description box if you're interested in ordering these. They will be coming out on August 8th and my coupon code will be good for a week. So if you want to jump on those, I would do it sooner than later. They also have a sample pack if you're not sure that you want the big 16 ounce candle. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you really enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye!